Well, so far we've talked at great length about Newton's first law, and we've also talked about Newton's second law. But you know, probably the law that most people are familiar with is Newton's third law. Newton's third law says that for every action force, there is an equal and opposite reaction force. In other words, it says forces always come in equal opposite pairs. I want you to remember that. Forces always come in equal opposite pairs. Forces that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction are called action-reaction forces or an action-reaction pair. The two forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. They are called an action-reaction pair. Look at the rocket. The force that pushes the exhaust gases out of the rocket in this case happens to be 200 newtons of force. That's referred to as the action force. It's the force created by the exhaust gases. Well, the exhaust gases are forced out the back of the rocket and they in turn push on the inside of the rocket motor and force the rocket forward with a force that is equal in magnitude, 200 newtons, but opposite in direction. Now in terms of rockets, we call this action force and reaction force. The exhaust gases are the action force and the force applied forward to move the rocket forward to accelerate the rocket forward is referred to as thrust. So a rocket is a good example of action reaction forces in action. The exhaust gases are forced out the back of the rocket and they in turn push on the rocket apply a force to the rocket to accelerate it forward and the two forces are equal in magnitude and opposite direction and they represent an action reaction pair. So what should you remember? Remember Newton's third law. Every action force produces an equal and opposite reaction force. Forces always come in equal opposite pairs. Remember that. There's no such thing as a single force. They always come in pairs. If you push on a wall, the wall pushes back on you. The two forces are always equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Let's see how that affects other objects, not just rockets. Here is a cart, a wagon, appears to be sitting on a tabletop. The mass of the cart is 30 kilograms and that gives it a weight that acts downward and that weight is about 300 newtons. Actually, since it's acting downward, we can call that negative 300 newtons. Well, since this cart is sitting on a table and the weight acts downward, the table is actually pushing up on that cart. And it pushes up with a force that is actually equal to the weight. And so the reaction force here is going to be positive 300 newtons. So we have positive 300 newtons, negative 300 newtons. That equals a net force of zero newtons. So this object sitting on the table is actually said to be in equilibrium. It's not going to accelerate upward. It's not going to accelerate downward. The action force is equal to the reaction force, but the forces are in opposite direction. This is a good example of an action-reaction pair. The weight of the cart pushes down on the table and the table pushes up with a force equal to the cart's weight. You set something down on a table, it's not going to accelerate upward. It's not going to accelerate downward. It's going to stay there, stationary. It's going to be in equilibrium. Why? Because of that idea of action and reaction forces. The action force is the weight acting downward and the reaction force is the table pushing up on the object with a force exactly equal to its weight. And that's why it doesn't accelerate. The net force is equal to zero. If you sit in a chair, you push down on the chair, the chair pushes up on you with a force equal to your weight. If the chair couldn't do that, you would fall down you'd crush the chair. 
Here's another really good example of Newton's third law of motion. Here are two astronauts in space. Both astronaut A and astronaut B have the same mass. If astronaut A pushes on astronaut B, they both move apart at the same rate because they both experience the same force. That means that the action force applied to astronaut B by astronaut A and the reaction force that astronaut A receives from astronaut B is going to be exactly the same. So they both experience the same force but in opposite directions. That's that action-reaction pair. And so what happens if the force is equal on these equal masses? This is what happens. They both accelerate up to their maximum velocity. As long as they're in contact with each other, they will accelerate away from each other. Once they let go of each other, they will move apart at exactly the same velocity because they have the same mass, but in opposite directions. Each astronaut experiences the same force, but in opposite directions. And this is Newton's third law of motion in action.